So again, if you're not familiar with dependency injection, all it is is a new new, right? It, rather than you newing a class or newing a model, it handles, you don't care where that model comes from. It could be global. You don't care. It gives it for you, right? I haven't really figured out how to do it yet in Lua because Lua doesn't have a compiler. It's an interpreted language. They do have you know, some compilation for bytecode, but I haven't figured out how I'm supposed to do these annotations because there's no real formal annotation system either. So a couple options, I mean two. <laughs> One way is I could do it via pre-compiler, where we, I run through your code, I look through all the uh, custom annotation and inject tags, and then set up special code gen to deliver those dependencies for you before the class actually runs, right? That's one way. Another way is to do it via runtime. There's already some runtime dependency injection frameworks out there where they will, at runtime when a class is loaded, look for those annotations in a custom comment fashion, parse them out, deliver the dependencies. And it's kind of written like JSON, so it's readable. You can actually see a context that you know maps your dependencies. It's another option too. I just haven't figured out what most Lua developers in Corona would do. So I'm working on it. You got some ideas? I'd love to hear them. An example would probably be like that. So we had inject and actually with the brackets. We could probably do that as well, and just you know keep the dash dash for comments. That could work as well. If you don't use the comments, the at least the control con Corona SDK compiler gets mad. Okay, so that's the future. Not in robot legs right now, I'm working on it. For now, just dynamically inject it. There's other dynamic ways of doing it in dynamic languages like Lua.